There we go. All right. Good morning and welcome to the weekly Cubevert community meeting. Let's see. Just getting everything pulled up on my side. All right, if everyone in attendance can pull up weekly meeting and get yourselves added to attendance. And while that gets filled out, it looks like we have some stuff being uh, added to the agenda. Anyone with pull requests, bugs, or mailing list conversations that need a second look on the call, feel free to add those today. And we'll get to them in a bit. And if we have anyone on the call this morning who would like to introduce themselves, uh, might be new to the group or new to speaking up, feel free to speak up and introduce yourself and we'd love to hear from you. All right, it looks like things have settled out in the meeting agenda. So going ahead and starting on the agenda notes, we have events coming up. Do you want to go ahead and get into that? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so um, it comes as kind of weird timing because we're still preparing for the EU KubeCon, but um, such is life. Uh, there are two other relevant conferences on the horizon and their um, calls for proposals uh, expire or close in, in one month. There is the KVM Forum in Dublin in the middle of September, and then KubeCon US in Detroit at the mid to end of October. Um, so I just wanted to make people aware of them. Um, obviously, there's, there's one that's kind of EU side of things and one US side of things. Um, if we want to split our attention to those things. Um, the KVM Forum, I believe uh, we've presented that last year. I don't know if that was our first um, appearing there. Being involved, um, but yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that was something that we wanted to um, have a have a presence at again this year. And I believe the I believe both of them are going to be in person and virtual. Got it. Um, yeah, if if anyone has anything they'd like to add or questions or anything. Yeah, I know that I am going to be at. KubeCon uh, in Detroit. Um, if anyone wants to work together on a talk for that, I'd be happy to assist. And otherwise, um, yeah, we have a lot of talent, talented people on the call. So I'm sure that's a lot to look forward to. Anyway, if anyone does want help uh, getting things put together for the CFPs on either of those, feel free to speak up in the Slack channel or the Google group, um, or come back with anything that want, you want reviews on in the next few meetings, and we can rally around you on that stuff. And then, Andrew, you've been a hero and got all of our meetings posted up. Is, is that what I'm reading? 
Yeah, that's that's right. Um, that's awesome. Uh, that that uh, point is more or less self-explanatory. Uh, but if there is a meeting that anyone's aware of that uh, has been covered, please let me know, and I'll go figure out what's happened. Awesome. Thank you for that. All right. It looks like we have some technical things to go ahead and jump into. Um, Howard, would you like to get into that? If you're speaking, we can't hear you. It's my turn. Uh, I'm Howard. Yes, go for it. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, I I want to think status for Qubiverse CI on ARM64. Uh, mainly, there are two topics. One is par parallel testing. I have discussed this with Daniel. Hi, Daniel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, so uh, the main gap gaps here is uh, ARM server currently not support nested virtualization. So uh, we can try to use kind to build a, a Kubernetes cluster and run par parallel parallel testing in the uh, in the K Kubernetes cluster. Um, but before that, we need to support bootstrap image. Thus, uh, Pro can assign uh, assign task to the to the um, ARM64 server. Uh, I used to submit a patch for build multi-arc bootstrap image, but uh, did not get feedback. Uh, we also try to submit PR to the uh, Kubernetes uh, community, Kubernetes project, but um, we also don't get feedback. Um, their, uh, their feedback is um, they don't want to, currently they don't want to support the multi-arc testing for Kubernetes. So they think there is no need to build multi-arc bootstrap image. This might be an obvious question, but for those of us that don't know, can you explain what the bootstrap image is? Uh, you can consider it as a container in container environment. Uh, by using it, we can uh, create, a, uh, we can assign, a, how to say, assign a job to uh, start a bootstrap image on ARM64. Then within the bootstrap image, we can use kind to create a Kubernetes cluster and do E2E testing uh, in the bootstrap image. Can you understand me? Um, I understand doing the testing on kind. I'm not familiar with the purpose of the, like the, what the bootstrap image that you're describing, what it is or what functionality it adds? Uh, it's kind of con container in container. Like uh, the bootstrap is a container image. So uh, you want to create container within a container image. Because you know, uh, when you use pro, you assign a task to a, uh, to a server or a virtual machine, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the task, the jobs is uh, is done within an image, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually we use bootstrap image to do it. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> to make. Uh, parallel, parallel testing works on ARM. Um, from my point of view, there are two tasks we need to do. One is uh, make bootstrap image support multi-arc. The second one is uh, we need to design another uh, uh, test, test scenario to make it uh, works with kind Kubernetes cluster. Can you drop a, a link to the GitHub repo 
that would be associated with that bootstrap image? Uh, the bootstrap image, you mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, can, can, okay. I, can I chime in? I'm sorry, sorry. Um, I, I am also wondering, and, and I was the one who was uh, uh, commenting on the pull request that uh, Howard is talking about. So um, I think that you mean the bootstrap image that we're using currently for running the ECE test on the Power Workers cluster. Mm -hmm. right yeah, okay. Yes. What you're, what you're also asking for is that we need a multi arch bootstrap image so that we can also use this bootstrap image to run the E2E tests in a parallel way on the ARM cluster, right? Yes, correct. Okay, understood. Um, so, yeah, cool. Um, I, I think that that's, that's a great idea. And, and I was not aware of that, that we didn't uh, support multi art I must admit. Um, maybe, can you, can you probably um, put all this into uh, an email, what, what we need to do probably, so that we can start, so that even that the, the, the Qubit community that is, that is uh, looking at the arm uh, stuff um, and everyone who is who is interested to work on that so that we can get a little bit more traction probably so that that people are um, um, want, want to join in so that could you could you just create a, an email that you send to the Cupertest mailing list with the ideas I, I find those great and I would like just to have something that uh, so that we have some working document or something like a proposal I'm not sure if what what is what you would think would, would, work, would fit into your time scale somehow. Okay, uh, I will do two things. One is create an issue and the list of what, uh, uh, what I talked into bullet point. The second one is I will uh, put it in an email and uh, send it uh, via email list, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that would work, I think. Great. Okay. Uh, the second topic is uh, the E2E testing cases. Uh, the main gap here uh, on ARM64 uh, is the three bullet points. Um, first one is some testing image not support multi arc like uh, Fandora real time and the Fandora testing tools. Uh, image, uh, we already have a PR for it. <clears throat> and the second one is uh, in some tests, uh, memory assigned to VM is less than 256. Uh, and uh, on ARM64, if the memory is less than 256 mm -hmm. uh, megabit, um, the VM cannot uh, boot. Um, correctly, um, because it uses UV boot. I have an issue for it and uh, describe the reason for it. <clears throat> uh, I can put a link here if you want. Uh, the third one is some devices are not supported by the cumul binary on ARM64. Uh, like uh, recently, I submit a PR to replace the default. Uh, disk bus for ARM64 because ARM64 does, does not support SATA. We can you only use SCSI or Vault.io for the disk bus. Yeah, um, and uh, we have some other uh, devices that are not supported on ARM64. So, if I understand mm -hmm. correctly, that that we are executing test cases that are not supported on ARM, is that is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, yes. The def some default setting may maybe need to change on ARM64 because um, it's not supported on ARM64. Mm -hmm. And for so, the is memory, there, is there a gap. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I was just wanting to ask: Is is the QE move binary on ARM, um, is that a gap that we can fix because there is a newer binary that we would need to provide somehow or how can we fix that? Uh, 
there are two uh, 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 some device is not supported on ARM64, so we cannot do anything. Uh, but some yeah, some device not support because uh, the um, when we when the when the what do you say community compiles the community binary, it does not add uh, add those device into the configuration. Can you understand what I say? Like when we compile QMU, we need to add some configuration, like something like when we compile Linux kernel, we need to do manual config, right? To turn on some uh, configuration. It's sim sim the similar things happen to QMU, uh, but currently the uh, Red Hat official release, the, the QMU binary from the Red Hat official release, uh, it's not, some device are just not support like VGA device or something. In terms of those device, um, maybe we can send the email to uh, Pat to, to ask them or uh, to support those device. Open those configuration. So we need to explore um, possible room to uh, enhance the, the build of the QMU binary for ARM on the rail side? Uh, yes. Okay. Do we have anyone on the call that wants to run with that? <laughs> Okay. So, uh, sorry. Um, and I have a question. Uh, so, uh, what's the attitude uh, of the community towards ARM um, sixty four uh, architecture? I know from the conversations I've been around. It's a direction that has interest. I don't know about the commercial interest yet. Okay. And I think, and I can add, chime in on that. I think there's definitely interest in, in running on ARM. I think that, I, I guess Q is not here, but for example, he has uh, created some demo with running Qbert on ARM. Uh, and, and I think there are lots of other people who are also interested in ARM support. So um, I think there is definitely interest in this. Okay, thanks. I don't know if anyone oh. is in the Kubert, uh, the CAPI SIG, um, but I, I want to say that some of their multi arch testing um, goals have been limited just by the underlying support. In, in Kubert and the immaturity there. Okay. Uh, any guys who gets any request on supporting Kubert on M64? Can you can you um, can you rephrase the question? I, I oh, oh sorry. Um, uh, did you get any request to support Kubevert uh, on ARM64? Like uh, they want some future, they, they are testing ARM64 are uh, missing? That, that's a good question. And, and I can't, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, obviously, I can't answer that. I, I myself didn't get any direct question from, from someone else. Um, but yeah, what, I can just say what, what I see from the community that there is interest um, in, in, in ARM support. But to be honest, I can't, uh, besides the couple of people that I've talked to probably, like, like Stu, 
um, or, or um, I think um, then when it was um, uh, when the demo was prepared, so so those people uh, were uh, definitely interested. But yeah, so I I can't say that definitely that there is a definitely definite request on our support or something like that. Okay. Uh, may I ask you just a question about the devices? Um, are those uh, not supported at all in QMU or just not enabled at build time? Um, uh, the device just not supported by QMU because I compile QMU by myself um, and uh, my uh, my compiled one can support those device on uh, ARM64. Okay, so we need to enable uh, the CentOS uh, QME binary in order to have the, those devices included. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I All think right. we need to talk with the people that does the build uh, on CentOS. Yeah, I had not realized that you compiled um, a working came a binary for those devices. That's a big deal for things. All right, thank you for all that. I have hard. finished. Yeah, okay, that, that's good work. Um, uh, with that, uh, any last second additions to open floor PRs or other reviews? Going once, going twice, and with that, I will give you the rest of your hour, hour back. Thank you all for joining. See you same time, same place next week. Thanks for hosting, Catherine. Bye.